Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see installation of latest version of Android, Android Ladybug on Windows operating system. So let's start with the video. First, you have to open any of your favorite web browsers. So I will open the Google Chrome. In that type, Android Studio Download. Just press the enter. So just click on this. So it is showing the ID for Android app development. So just click on this download button. Android download Android Studio ready book. Here you have to accept the terms and condition. So if you scroll down this, you will get the checkbox. So just select this and click on download Android Studio Ready. Friends, you need strong internet connection here so that it will get downloaded fast. Otherwise, it will take time. So here already I have downloaded this Android Studio. Just I will select this one and so just you have to double click on this. Now it is showing setup wizard for Android Studio. First you have to select next option to continue with the setup. Again here if you want to run any kind of application you need devices connected with your Android and if you don't want to connect physical device you can connect with the virtual device also. So you have to select this option Android virtual device. Just select this option and Click on this next button. Now see friends, it is showing the path where this Android Studio will get installed. It is on C drive in program files folder. So just click on next button. Again here, you have to click on install button. Just click on next button. Here you have to select this start Android Studio option. You have to select this option so that Android Studio will get started. So just click on finish. Here it is showing in message. Just click on don't send and select here. Again it is showing missing SDK, no SDK font. So just click on next button. Again, just click on next button. It is showing the current setting which is available for the Android Studio. It is showing SDK, different SDKs, Android emulator and different SDK components. So just click on next button. And here you have to select this SDK licenses. You have to just accept it. After selecting or after accepting this, it will show the finish option. So just click on finish button. So it will download the components. Now see here downloading of components is completed. So after this, just you have to select on finish option. Now it is showing welcome page for Android Studio. So just click on option new project. Now here it is showing different templates for application that is you can use phone or tablet. Here we are not going to connect the physical device just we are going to use a virtual device Android virtual device. So here just select the empty view activity. Now friends see if we write the application we can write the Android application within either in uh, Kotlin language or Java language. Here we are going to use the Kotlin language. And here first we will see the empty view activity. So just select the empty view activity and just click on next button. So I will give the name of application as a first demo. Again you have to select the package name. So instead of example I will give package name as a SP that is software technology empire. Which is the name of our channel. After this it will get saved to location and C drive Android studio projects. 
again see here it is showing the language that is a Kotlin language again here it is showing the minimum minimum SDK required for your application and it is showing that your app will run approximately on 95 percentage of devices so if you want to change this minimum SDK you can just select on help me to choose option now see it is showing the different Android platform versions API levels from this you can select whatever latest version is there it is supporting for less devices given by default you can select that one or here the version no good it runs on 97 percentage of devices so just click on ok button you can select any platform for this android so just click on ok button and after this just click on finish now see if you now if you observe here project explorer within that again first demo folder is created again that it is showing the gradle our package name as a st and in that main activity is created over here again here we want to add virtual device for that you have to select the option from right hand side if you observe towards top right corner again it is showing different options device manager gradle notifications running devices as well as assistance now we want to add the virtual device so you have to select the device manager but here i have not added any kind of devices i am going to add the virtual device so just click on add a new device and here i am going to create virtual device so you have to select the option create a virtual device if you select the virtual device again it is showing different sizes of these devices so whatever pixel fold is given i am going to select that one you can change this also so just click on next button again here it is showing the system images so you have to select any system image and you have to download this so just select the required system and just select and click on this download option so that it will start the downloading of components now SDK components are downloaded so just click on finish option now see this vanilla ice cream components for android 15 are downloaded so just click on next button now see here you can select startup orientation it can be a portrait or landscape i want portrait so i will select the portrait option and just click on finish button now see android virtual device is connected here and just i want to start this android device so just i will click on this start button still some components are downloading and you can observe here activity main.xml is created here main activity.kt file is created kt is kotlin file so if you want to use the java at the time of startup only uh, while creating the project only you have to select the another template uh, which includes the java language here you can rotate your device rotate left or right now see here it is showing the connection of device if you see activity.main file activity main.xml file it is showing the text to be displayed is uh, hello world again these are different attributes of uh, xml file if you run this app at the top it is showing the option to run the app so just click on it now since this is the output so once you run this program it is showing the output hello world is displayed on your android virtual device so friends i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any query related with this video you can comment me in comment box and if you really like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you